Hello there everyone, welcome back to Arts Authority. Today we will discuss about the topic how much every space do arts require to live. In this video we will discuss about this topic in detail so let's start the video. Arts need almost 1.5 to 2 times space of their body size to hide, walk, forage, bury dead fellows and keep eggs, larvae or queens in separate chambers. The size of underground tunnels needs to be equal to three workers moving side by side, allowing broader channels for their movement. The requirement increases for bigger ones like queens as they cannot pass through holes of workers size. It is essential to keep the size of formicarium or jar according to their body size as they cannot live in a narrow space because they need multiple chambers to live. Every insect species needs space according to its body size as longer insects occupy more surfaces than shorter ones. Therefore, each insect needs 1.5 to 2 times longer and wider area to survive. The smallest species are ghost ants, around 1.3 to 1.5 mm long, requiring a smaller surface area to live as they can easily adjust in channels of 2 to 3 mm in length and width. The pharaoh ants are also smaller but are millimeter longer than the previous one and are 1.5 to 2 mm long, requiring at least 3 to 4 mm space to live. However, the carpenter ants are medium sized insects with a body length of almost 8 to 12 mm, and the giant Amazon ant is the longest, having a 15 to 30 mm body length. The queens take more surface area due to their bigger body size and need 1.5 to 2 times more space than their body size. The average length of the queen is around 12 mm or 0.5 inches. Accordingly, you have to provide almost 18 to 24 mm or 0.7 to 0.9 inches of space for survival, equal to 1.77 to 2.28 cm. However, the queens of Titanroma gigantium are almost 2 to 3 inches long, requiring around 7.5 to 11.4 cm space to live. So the thicker walls can provide extra room for these insects to live in a spacious place, but the thinner walls can reduce the surface area. Ants need spacious places to live as they cannot remain in a resting position for long. They usually keep crawling on the surface in search of food and moisture. They prefer to live in a larger formicarium with a few hidden spots to remain out of sight. They live inside tunnels providing a suitable passage to their smaller bodies. Moreover, they can easily get inside through entry points and are made of the size suitable for queens and males as they are bigger and need more surface area to get inside the soil. In addition, they need a few extra inches of area in the formicarium to bury the dead members. These insects do not keep dead fellows close to the brood or queen as there is a risk of infection. They have separate chambers in the nest for dead insects and newly born larvae. It is not ideal for keeping the sick, deceased and living members together to avoid the spread of germs and diseases. The eggs are kept in a growth chamber where nursing ants feed them to become adults. The food particles are placed in a separate chamber, so they need a lot of space to behave naturally. It can be astonishing to see ants entering the ground through tiny holes in the pavement and garden soil. You probably wonder about their management under the ground. They build a hole set up under the soil by digging deep through it. They move in three directions and display soil to create intricate channels. Additionally, these underground channels look narrower and more compact, but they are wide enough for their tiny bodies to manage their movement through them. Almost two to three workers can pass side by side from these channels or tunnels smoothly without touching each other and interpreting the walking movement of others. Moreover, they have to face some problems when they all carry heavy particles on their back and move close to each other. These insects keep the channel wider to avoid traffic jams when all the foragers carry the particles back to their nest. So you have to keep the width and depth of tunnels to size so that every type can fit inside it. You can keep them higher to 1 and 0.5 inches, providing sufficient surface area for easier crawling. Thanks for watching the video.